orange peel is an antioxidant and it eases the stomach. I'm sure a lot of you have diarrhea out there. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. These are very difficult times. I know all of you are homebound. I know it's really difficult right now. So I'm bringing this video to you to uplift you with some home remedies. Yes, these are really good home remedies. It has been ha found by my niece who is a wonderful person and very, very, very in tune with her health and inner soul system. So. <laughs> So here we are with this wonderful recipe to keep your immune system boosting during these difficult times. These times where you can't get a hug, you can't get any love, you can't get any kind of warmth to keep you going. And this is not to cure coronavirus. This is just a home remedy to keep your immune system going. For this recipe, this is basically a version of fennel tea that you are going to be making at home. You're stuck at home. You don't even know if you're gonna get any toilet paper for the rest of your life. So let's do this to help you keep it up with the Jones. You are gonna need fennel seeds. We are going to open the fennel seeds and pour them in a pot. Here I have a medium-sized pot. It's just like if you would make pasta. Apparently, I'm gonna put half of this jar of fennel seeds. My help cook honestly doesn't know, which is actually the one who's giving us these recommendations. Let me fix you guys because you're actually only seeing the, you're not seeing the top of my head. Oh, now you're not seeing the pot. How do I center myself on myself? That's not gonna work either. Ah, oh, that's better. You can see whole of Mina, not that you really care, but anyway. In this pot, we are going to put half of this jar of fennel seeds. Basically, I should have prepped this before so I don't bore you guys out. We are going to pour half of this in this pot. Okay, stop. Stop. Oh, that was more than half. I did wash my hands it's before fine. I started this. Apparently it's fine, I should just leave it. This you can use for other, you can even add it to boiling water and drink it like that. I mean, hello. Then we're gonna add organic rosemary. A quarter of this. So a quarter, we're gonna be careful this time. Here we have a very nice rounded orange peel that has been cut appropriately to size. Orange peel is an antioxidant and it eases the stomach. I'm sure a lot of you have diarrhea out there. Okay, look. Next, we're gonna put the mint, which is gonna go ploop in the pot. One, two, three, ploop. Hallelujah, it's raining mint. So we got the mint in there, we got the orange in there, we got the rosemary, we got the fennel. Okay, I squeezed one half a lemon in here. The next half a lemon is in here. The actually lemon is very good for your hands, so you can rub it on your hands and disinfect with lemon. Lemon vinegar in a jar with some water, it's a good disinfecting spray. So now you're gonna take your pot and fill it up with agua. So now we have water, lemon, and all the ingredients that we talked about. We're turning on the stove on medium. All you do is you bring it to a boil, you put it in a cup, and then you can add some elderberry, barely, elder, Berry Immunity, which is optional. This one is from Air One. It has been established in 1968. It's a cold and flu remedy number 24. Oh wow, it has Kamu Kamu, whatever that is. It's supposed to be good for you. I don't know these things, you guys know. These lovely little sticks are Manuka honey from New Zealand. Just put a spoonful of honey if you can't get this. Here we have the result boiling. Our concoction is ready. Oh my goodness, this looks so wonderful. We are going to pour it like this. We can dump a lemon in there, should be good. I'm gonna pour it like this. Mm. You're gonna take your honey stick, you're gonna open it and pour it into the cup and there you have a wonderful scrumptious tea. So please drink this on a daily basis to support your immune system. And I will be back with more videos. Take care guys and stay positive. Delicious. Bye guys.